Welcome back. I have had so many women over the years message me talking about going into labor during our Oklahoma storms. So I looked into it, did some research, talked to my doctor and found it's actually a higher likelihood that you will go into labor during an Oklahoma severe storm. Take a look. That's six year old Ollie. They're in the peach shirt. Friends joke though, his parents should have named him Stormy or even Carson or Diesel. All because of the way he came into this world. August 22nd, 2015. Showers and thunderstorms really have blown up. Mom Emily had began having contractions overnight, but since this was her third pregnancy, she wasn't that concerned. Still that morning, since the contractions were getting stronger and Emily lived 30 minutes from the hospital, she and her husband decided to drop her other two kids with her parents and head to the hospital. They weren't three to five minutes apart, so we weren't concerned that much and we visited for a little bit. We weren't rushing or anything. But then we looked out the window and we could tell it was getting kind of ominous and dark. And so we're like, well, we better go before the weather comes in. As soon as we go out to the car and get in the car, a big gust of wind blows and a branch falls on my parents' tree. And we're like, okay, let's get going. <laughs> as soon as that storm hit, Emily's contractions started coming faster and stronger. About halfway to the hospital, she called 911. Right after I called 911, my water broke immediately. The 911 dispatcher told them to pull over. She handed the phone to her husband. So were you feeling the urge to push? Yes, okay. and I was doing everything I could to not, not push. push. I was, yes, I, I kept saying, this is not happening, this is not happening. And he I, kept saying, they're telling me to pull over. And I said, do not pull over, just keep driving. And when I said, okay, he's crowning, then he pulled over. Approximately 10 minutes after the storm hit, Ollie was born. And I said, I'm not going to be on TV, am I? And they said, well, not if you don't want to. Like, it's up to you. And so I guess six years later, I'm, I'm ready to talk about now, it. Although Emily's story of giving birth on the side of the road is pretty uncommon, apparently going into labor during a storm isn't. When I asked for similar stories on my Facebook page, I received hundreds of responses, many who had their water break right as the storm hit, one who had to travel from North OKC to Norman behind a severe storm producing 80 mile per hour winds, only to get to the hospital and realize they didn't have power and she had to deliver in the middle of the summer with no AC. But I wanted a medical opinion, so I talked to my doctor who says anyone who works in labor and delivery sees it happen. These uh, storms that roll through very quickly, oftentimes with a significant pressure drop, and they come into labor and delivery and say, well, I was sitting at home and my water broke, or I was laying in bed and my water broke. He says it's caused by the quick change in barometric pressure. Bag of water is like a balloon, and um, as someone gets closer to term, closer to labor, that um, those membranes get a little weaker. And so just that extra little bulge, you know, even though it's way up inside, it, it the pressure change on the outside of the body has impact on what's going on, on inside the body. Emily had two more children. After Ollie, their births were not especially quick, leading her to conclude Ollie's unusual birth was the result of a perfect storm. That's such a good that is story. fascinating. Yeah. It was mind blowing to just hear all the different stories. Uh -huh. Your your boys were born oh, right, in, right. The spring. in the spring. Yeah. So I actually went back and looked. Yeah. Our second one, Boone, was born on a day where there was severe weather, but I don't think it was a factor. It was a factor. It was more the oxytocin. That, that, <laughs> gotcha. was, that was the factor <laughs> in that one. Or maybe the stress of it all too. Yeah. And that's you know, a whole thinking, other part of will it. Will I? Will I? Oh yeah. my goodness. And will yeah. I be able to get there? Or yeah. I, or some of the stories were there were women who were laying in bed pushing while their parents' home were under the gun of a tornado oh warning. So the added stress of just yeah. what's going on while you're in such a critical situation. Mm -hmm. Under pressure. Exactly. <laughs> such a good story, Thank Liz. You. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can watch the full Ahead of the Storm special. It was great. It was an hour long. Just go to news9.com. Uh, great storylines in that whole thing.